Hello vampiric puppies and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines! Today we're going to be going to the museum with our creepy cab driver. Just drive to the museum! Which, you know, after doing some practice it's actually not that hard and it takes not that long either. There's only just this one room that's kind of annoying that if you just want to disable the cameras. There's a skill book in there too, so we'll see how this goes. I'll try not to rush through it too much because that gets sort of lame. But this actually scared me the first time you're walking, you're like, oh my god, he's alive. No, it's good. Damn funny, you scared the crap out of the cleaning crew. Now would you please put the damn dracker back in the exhibit? Oh, and don't leave your keys lying around, or Mar shall... Oops, Marshall will fly your ass. <laughs> Sorry, I am a little bit tired today. Also, yesterday was the 4th of July, so maybe there was some... <laughs> there was some slight inebriation going on last night. <laughs> so that, that might change a few things. We'll see. That was, yeah. A while ago but anyway if you go up the oh shoot yeah this is supposed to be a stealthy mission so you don't want to get caught but if you go up these stairs here which i'm not really going to show off because i don't feel like it but well I, I guess i could if you go up these stairs here there's a pterodactyl hanging from the ceiling because this is a dinosaur museum Ooh, mostly and you can actually jump on the pterodactyl and where is it Actually, it's, it's down there. It's like straight ahead from... Oh, my God. You just don't want to leave me alone, do you? Wait, where'd you go? Oh, he went that way. Okay. I guess we can check it out. Wait for some guards to pass by. You know? Because if you jump on that pterodactyl head, you can actually get... I think it's $100. Something like that. So hopefully he doesn't find us here. I don't think he will, but we'll see. Nope. And that's why the stealth in this game is slightly broken. Because you can be standing right next to someone if you have enough stealth points. And they just don't see you. So, we are going to... I guess get the money, because why not? I mean, it's, it's, the thing is, it's like, this game... You just don't need the money, you know? It's not a big deal. <gasps> Got it. And, wait. Where is it? What the hell? I did this on my practice run and it was here. There it is. It's on the wing. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can just jump down. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Just jump down here. It takes some damage, but it's not a big deal. Yes, barely anything. There's a front entrance that LaCroix wanted us to go through. You should... Well, if you don't have enough lockpicking, you want to go through those two doors on the other side here. But we have a high enough skill to where we can do this with blood buff. Or without, actually. Don't even need blood buff. And that's a fake door. I don't remember what was in the other room either. So we're just going to skip it. It's not necessary. And there are no guards in here, so you can stand up. For a moment, I believe there's a morphine prescription bottle or something. Prescription bottle, there it is. <clears throat> but yeah, yesterday was the 4th of July, and it was actually really fun. Went to a friend's house, and they brought fire. You know those, like, if you go to a park, you know those big fireworks that are, you know, big and stuff, and they're, they're just, how do I describe those? I don't know, like the big spherical explosions that are really loud and... You know, the really cool ones. Like, you go to Disneyland, that kind of thing. Those kind of fireworks. We actually had those. And I always thought those were way more expensive than they were. They were... I, I always assumed they were, like, 50 bucks per per explosion. Turns out, they're only 2 bucks. If you know where to go. Which, I, I, I didn't get them, but my friend did. So he brought 6 of those. And uh, a launcher. Which is pretty... I'm going to quick save, too. And a uh, launcher. Which was actually really cool. So we, we shot those off. We had some Roman candles, and I don't remember what the other ones were. The other one's really annoying. Okay. So what I want to do now is... Oh shit, that guard's coming around. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn... What? Oh, no. Alarm's been set off. Yeah, we're going to want to reload that one. Yeah, but there were these really annoying, annoying ones that just like... Ugh off into the sky they were really loud and they didn't they made they barely made an explosion it was kind of dumb i wasn't crazy about those hello <laughs> oh yeah so this like okay that that floor up there in the museum isn't a huge deal to get through but this basement is so annoying because you got the cameras and the guards patrolling I'm like i understand that's a high security place but i just don't want to deal with it you know and the camera is not leaving. What the hell? See, it's not turning. You fucking... What the hell? Come on. 
I don't know if it's because it caught a glimpse of me or something. I don't know. Okay, let's try that again. We're going to start a little farther back and hopefully the camera is going to be swiveling. See, now I have to wait for that guy too. It's annoying. It's like, I just want to get through. I could go this... Well, I don't need to go that way though. But see, now the camera is turning this way again as soon as he walks away. Just, I hate this place so much. And that dude's just staring at the cameras. And I can't stand up because then he'll see me. Which would obviously be tragic. We're going to quick save again. <laughs> because we're at a good spot right here. So what I want to do here is this. Close that door. Pick up that skill book. Now, I want to say the password for this is... Uh, Teradactyl. Oh, shit. Okay. We're just going to use that a few times as soon as we hear him sort of come into it. Oop. There it is. I think it's Pterodactyl. Password failed. Damn it. Um, <laughs> let me look it up real quick because this will be really helpful to have. It is. It is Pterodactyl. I just spelled it wrong. Okay. <laughs> See? I know this. Are you getting... Yeah. Okay. You're not... No. I'm not cool with that. So it's Pterodactyl. Got it. And disable. And the next one is... Actually, let's wait for him to uh, snap out of it. And then the next one... I believe is Wombat? Or is that the next... No, it's not Wombat, is it? No, it's not. That's a different one. It is Velociraptor. That's what it is. See, I wrote this down. Shit. Oh, that's close. Okay. Yeah, I wrote these down for this express purpose. So disable. There we go. So we got the skill book and both cameras have been disabled. What the hell is this? Okay, so we're going to quick save. <laughs> Just lots of quick save going on here. For good reason. Okay, now I don't know where the other guard is. I hear him. There he is. We can... Can go now the cameras are disabled so we can actually just run because there's no more guards besides those two i don't think could be wrong i'm gonna pick that up and this note here marshall changed the code again he is on such a power trip i think you're right he managed to send to everyone but you again not that you ever check your mail anyway the code's 2358 you owe me on muerto okie doke well here's what i'm gonna do Valid target. I'm gonna use Brain Wipe for the first time in the series because I keep forgetting to actually have it. Hero! Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you then. I wanna actually go this way. Because remember, we were, we need to find that artifact for Pisha, the fetish in the museum. Oh, this is that museum. I don't know if, the, if this is the right way though. Let's see. Uh. Oh no, this is not the right way. I don't think, at least. Here it is. Perfect. So you want to break the glass, just jump on in, and... Did I just, oh, there it is. There's a fetish. Fetish statue. Alright, so now... Oh! <laughs> See, I should probably be a little bit more stealthy. I could drink some blood, too. I should actually probably do that. Actually, he didn't even notice me, did he? Oh, sure did. Okie dokie. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See, that's actually a useful skill there. That brain wipe. Okay, let's go this way. Alright, now we're good. Don't worry. I got this. Now we want to go... Oh! <laughs> we want to go in this room here. I know there's a computer here. Okay, well, I don't know what the password is. I don't know if I can... I could try hacking into it. I don't know how that would ha happen. But, um, we'll wait for that guard to pass. Experience rewarded one. So, the reason I'm not being hostile here is because you get two extra experience if you don't kill anyone. And I do want as much experience as possible, really. So, I guess we could try. I mean, this is completely unnecessary. This doesn't get you anything else. Oh, yes, I hate my job. I forgot about that. Okay. Johansson. I'll be showing Dr. Johansson around personally. Blah, blah, blah. 
Relax, Pam. I had him move the sketch into, the op into another office. And then, oh, here's the code if you didn't get it before from the other room. Okay, didn't know that was there. There's actually another computer that you can hack into. Oh, God, you coming back. There's another computer that you can hack into where if you read the email, it says, it talks about the fetish statue and it's like people started disappearing and all that's left behind is the statue, which is what P Pisha was talking about. So I think that's, you know, cool little thing they got going on there. But yeah, we're almost done, thankfully, because it's like one of my least favorite parts of the game, this building. So it's 358. Okay, we're not quite done, but we're almost done. See, disabling the cameras helps so much, and it was worth all that blood that I spent, too. Now, I believe there's one guard left that we have to sneak past. You can jump in to his little room and kill him. It's going to be just to the right here. You could jump in there. Actually, not this room. Sorry, it's this next room over here to the right. So I did something a little stupid. We're going to try this again and not mess up this time. So as I was saying, you can go right through here and you see there's lasers here. So what you want to do is that. And then someone hears you somehow. I don't know. But I don't think they actually come in here. I hope not. We'll just wait a second to see. I just hear footsteps everywhere. You know, it's making me... It's making me uncomfortable. So... Yeah, I guess what we could do is take it slowly and just... Because I don't know. I don't think it sets it out. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we can just do some of that. Oop. I think we're okay. Just take it slow. Just like that guy from StarCraft. Take it slow. Not that guy. You know. You know which one. And there we go. That's actually the end of the museum. Well, almost in here. And, like, there's no more stealth stuff. It's just through here. Finally, Jesus. <laughs> but there's no sarcophagus here. Oh! I can't understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city is not that dull. <laughs> what happened to the Ankar and sarcophagus? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen. Or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. Hmm. What are you doing here, Beckett? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this uncurrent sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. <laughs> My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Sorry, I thought that poster on the back said bro wrestling. I was like, what the hell is bro wrestling? It says pro wrestling. So The texture's kind of low, so it looks like a B. Anyway, let's see. Did you get to... Actually, let's say, who stole it? Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Weren't you here to take it away? Wouldn't that make no? you an attempted thief? Well, <laughs> yeah. Do you know who stole it or not? Every supernatural creature in Los Angeles is suspect, as are most human thieves. I suppose we may want to question magicians as well. Yeah, we could do that, find Job. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. I just want to mention anti... Oh, actually, I was about to say what they are, but let's go ahead and ask him what they are. Antediluvians. No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire. An antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist in the depression. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. Indeed. And Gehenna? Armageddon. Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Right. Cain. Let's ask you about Cain him. Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth 
like most, has been twisted by time. Right, okay. Well, you want to ask him about as much as you can, because you can actually get a skill point from this, so... Say, can you tell me more about Thin Bloods? Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Sure. Are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Why don't you believe in Gehenna? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. And humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Yeah, this is all fascinating stuff. How long have you been studying kindred lore? Three hundred years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason, and if it takes another three hundred, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Hmm. <laughs> we're an eight now. I'm not gonna say that. We could say we're a predatory species like lions. Yes, I've heard <laughs> that theory before. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. Hmm. I agree. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is still in the way into the night. Think I'll do the same. I really like that line, actually. I guess I, my scholarship skill's already high enough to the point where he doesn't give me a point, because he was supposed to give me a point in that. Anyway, alright, well, goodbye, Beckett. That's fine.